everybody, it's Catherine from In The Pink Designs. Uh, my project today is another one from the new mini catalog that is available now. And this is my host code. If you're going to spend under 150 please put that in and I will send you a little gift. Um, I sent everyone a mini catalog that has purchased from me in the last year. So you should be getting it soon. I also wanted to say there is a new joining bonus if you would like to join my team. There is no obligation. If you decide you don't want to, you don't have to continue. There's no charge. You just spend that initial amount. And the offer is in the back of your celebration cat uh, catalog. And you have two options. You can get the, there's a new one. I'm going to be getting it soon. The Stampin' Glass mat that goes on your desk. Um, you get that free, which is a $60 value. It comes with a silicone, non-slip, multi-use mat, and a cleaning cloth. I'm not sure if that's on there with it. Alrighty, and then if an option two, you can choose to just get an additional $30 in free products instead of the mat. And it is with the mat $125 for only $99 and you get the whole glass mat. Okay. Or for $99, you can get an additional $30. So it would be $155 of products. All right. I would love to have you on my team. That is the last thing you have to purchase. Um, and you would get the 20% discount on whatever else you wanted to buy in the three months. And then you could just let it expire if you don't want to continue. All right. I would love to have you on my team, as I said before. Okay. So... My box today measures one half by three by three, and I'm using the Submarine Life stamp set along with the Stylus Shaped Styles and the Submarine Life Builder Punch. Alrighty, so it opens like this, and inside it fits four of the Hershey's chocolate foil hearts. Um, I ripped this whole thing. I think it was $3.99 from Walmart. Uh, and these are the extra creamy. Uh, I think the regular milk chocolate ones have the red in it. Alrighty, if you're looking for red. Or you could stick whatever hearts you like in there. Alrighty. Okay, so what we need today is... And don't forget to get this if you want this. Pick the bundle. Make sure you put the bundle in your cart, not them separately. Because when you put the bundle in, you get a 10% discount. All right. So we need a piece of real red cardstock that is seven and a half by four and three quarters. Means you could get two out of each piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock. We need some basic white for stamping. I cut one of these squares. They're both two and three quarters by two and three quarters. But this square for the front is the largest square from the stylus shape styles. All right, now you could do it for both sides, but I just cut, I just measured out the one for the back here. Okay, so we don't need too much. So let me get my Simply Scored. And we're going to start on the seven and a half inch side and you need to score at one half, three and a half, four and seven. Turn it to the four and three quarter inch side and score at one half, three and a half, and four. And that's it. Now I'm going to fold and burnish all of my score lines. Alrighty, so we have our three quarter inch at the top and there is a one half inch strip on each of these three sides. We're gonna start over here, go to the first uh, score line, cut it to the first score line, and then wedge both sides of that square. Go to the next two score lines and cut it to the first score line, and then wedge the square. Go to the next score line, Cut it to the first score line 
and wedge up a little into that skinny rectangle. Alrighty, now we're going to turn it to the other side. So the three quarter inch strip is at the bottom now. We're going to go to the first score line, cut it to the second score line, and then wedge up a little bit into that skinny rectangle there. All right, go to the next score line, cut it to the second score line, and we're going to take off these two pieces, and I'm going to take off that score line right at the edge with it. All right, I'm going to go to the next score line, cut it to the second score line, take off the rectangle, and wedge the square. Go to the next score line, cut it to the second score line, and we'll take off the rectangle and wedge the square. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is take a corner rounder and this three quarter inch piece, we're going to round both sides. And that's what your cardstock should look like after you're done scoring and cutting. Now I'm going to get my tear and tape and put it on what's left of this wedged skinny rectangle right next to the score line. I'm going to use my take your pick tool to take the backing off. All right, we're going to turn the whole thing over, turn over the side with the tape and then the other side to meet it. All right. Then this is our back where the flap is. We're going to put in those side ones. If you want to, you can put a dot of glue on each one of them to keep them out of your way. And then pull the back down, put glue on this front one and push that forward. Make sure the lines are straight. All right. Now I'm going to put that back piece of DSP on, and it's the piece that I did not cut out with the uh, Stylus Shapes dies. It's two and three quarters by two and three quarters, and I'm just going to put that on the back. Now this stamp set is so cute for birthdays. There is a happy birthday floating by to say hi, hello, sending oceans of love. So you could use this for a lot of things, but I wanted to use it first for Valentine's Day because that's what's next up. Well, birthdays might be next up for some people. All right, and then just open up the back. And I, I have a small, small one here because it fits in, but you could do this. That's the wrong one. You could do this before you put it together. You'd have to put the cardstock on in order to fit a bigger punch. All right, and that just makes it easier, easier for us to open. All right, now let's let that dry and we'll do some stamping. All right, so we need our piece of basic white and our stamp and pierce mat. <clears throat> And I'm using four colors. I'm going to be using Tuxedo Black, Real Red, Smoky Slate, and Granny Apple Green. <clears throat> Let's start with the sub. So we're going to, I'm going to do that in red, real red. Okay. 
Okay. Then we need a propeller. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to do the propeller and the periscope with smoky sleep. I'm just trying to look on here how to put them so it's easier for me to cut them. So let's do the propeller first. And it's kind of like this. So I'm going to do a propeller right there. And I'll cut that out. And I cut them out as I do them so I don't get it with anything else that's on there and on the punch. Okay, there's our propeller. Oops. And then we need our periscope. And that's like that on the punch. And then the last thing I did that doesn't have a punch is the seagrass, which I'm going to do with Granny Apple Green. And I will cut that out by hand. All right. And then just bring in our piece that we cut with the stylus shape dies that is two and three quarters by two and three quarters and I'm going to put our sentiment you can put another little piece of cardstock there if you don't want to put it right on but I'm going to put it right on with base uh, tuxedo black and it says you are sublime there we go all right let's put that aside and work on our Sub, I'm going to use the silicone mat. I just need a tiny bit of glue on that little piece on the propeller. And I'm going to attach the back right on there. Okay, and then I'm going to put some on the end of the periscope and put it up here starting to get windy by me we're going to get a storm this weekend unfortunately not snow we don't get haven't gotten a lot of snow in the last couple years so i'm hoping maybe one to three inches at the end because it's the weekend in my house everybody's home <laughs> so i don't have to worry okay all righty now I have already cut out the seagrass. So what I'm going to do is attach our rectangle uh, square, sorry, to the front of the box. Make sure you have it the right way with dimensionals. And then just center it on the box. All right. All right, now I'm going to take our seagrass and attach that with liquid glue right next to the sentiment. And then we need our sub. And I'm going to do some dimensionals and some minis. I'm going to put a mini as far down as I can get it on the periscope. And then one in each of the propellers. And then some regular dimensionals. And I'm going to kind of 
slant the sub up. All right. And then for the final touch, I'm going to get some of our hearts and flowers, and I'm going to use the Poppy Parade one, which I, th uh, not Poppy Parade, this is, I think this is Sweet Sorbet, which is in the card stock. And I'm going to use the red hearts. And I'll put a large one. Hmm. Right there, and a small one here, and another small one right over the sentiment. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, my email is below along with the link to my blog that has the directions and my shop where you can purchase all of these products now or now on sale. Alrighty, uh, if you would like to join my team, I have a link below for that also. And if you have any questions on that, just give me an email and I will answer you. Alrighty, have a great day and I will see you next time. Good weekend. Bye.